today we are going to be making a fortune teller that tells you your Patronus. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with your basic fortune tellers, but you should have a template like this, albeit not colored in, with the kit that you picked up. And all you have to do, even if you don't know how to do it, is just fold in a few places. And then you have something cool like this, and you get to pick out what words apply to you most. And after all is said and done, you will be given one of these Patronuses. And the options are otter, dog, mountain goat, hare, horse, lion, unicorn, and swan. All right, let's get started. So first things first, you should have a square piece of paper like this. You're gonna flip it over. And you are going to take the corner like this and try to line it up with that line. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is one of the easier ones, so it does not have to be perfect at all. Uh, but once you think you have it, you fold it down like this. Mine's a little bit off, as you can see, but again, not a big deal. Uh, and then from there, take the other corner. You might start seeing a trend here. And fold it as perfectly as you think you can. That one was pretty good. And take the other corner and do the same, like so. And then we take the last corner and fold it like this. So it should be like a smaller square once all is said and done. So fold it there and crease it there. Awesome. And now we are going to flip it over again. You should see all of your Patronus options here. And we are going to take the corner again and fold it as close to the lines as possible, like so. And then uh, next corner, again, probably seeing a pattern here, like so. Fold again like so and then fold one last time like so okay and then from here you're basically done with the initial fortune teller so all you have to do is make two creases one like this just fold it in half along the line and then fold it out and then fold it in half again across the other line and from there, you can put your thumbs and your finger in this thing, pop it out a little bit, make sure it works all right. And there you go, there's the initial fortune teller. Now the question is how to use it. So you may be able to see it goes like this. And the way I'm doing that is my fingers are moving like this. So, we are going to take our fortune teller and you are going to pick which of these words you think applies to you most or which one you admire the most. For me, I'm gonna pick bravery. So I'm gonna open, you see the number seven there? That's the number of lever, letters in bravery. We're gonna count that out. We're gonna open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and from there we are almost done. So from here we have pride, protection, selfless, and beauty. Now this is another thing. You pick which one you think applies to you most or which one you admire the most. For me, I'm gonna pick, hmm, selfless. So now we just have to flatten it out see which one the selfless is on, open it up, and my Patronus is a dog. All right, guys, so that is how you make your very own fortune-telling Patronus. And so 